Hey there, green thumbs and veggie lovers. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're diving headfirst into the wonderful world of carrots. I know what you're thinking, carrots. Those boring orange sticks. Hold your horses, bucko. There's more to these crunchy delights than meets the eye. We're talking history, variety, and the inside scoop on growing the most bodacious bunch this side of the vegetable patch. So buckle up, buttercup. We're about to unearth the secrets of the carrot. And trust me, this ain't your grandma's garden variety show. Forget those dusty old gardening books. We're talking tips, tricks, and maybe even a few jokes along the way. So grab your trowels, your gardening gloves, and get ready to dig in. Now I know what you're thinking, carrots. Don't they only come in, well, orange? That's where you're wrong, my friend. Get ready to have your mind blown wide open because the carrot kingdom is more diverse than a disco party in the 70s. We're talking purple carrots, white carrots, even yellow carrots, oh my. And each one of these colorful characters comes with its own unique flavor and personality. That's right, folks. Carrots ain't just some one trick pony. They're versatile, vibrant, and downright delicious. So if you thought you knew everything about carrots, think again. We're about to pull back the curtain and reveal the dazzling diversity of the carrot world. All right, carrot connoisseurs, let's start with the heavy hitters, the head honchos of the carrot world, the Imperator and Nantes varieties. You know them, you love them. They're the classic orange carrots you find gracing supermarket shelves everywhere. First up, the Imperator. This carrot is your long, lean orange dreamboat. They're the runway models of the carrot world, with their slender bodies and pointy tips. Perfect for snacking, juicing, or adding a pop of color to any dish. And don't even get me started on their sweet, earthy flavor. Now, for the Nantes carrot, this one's a bit of a crowd pleaser. Shorter and stockier than the Imperator, the Nantes boasts a vibrant orange hue and a deliciously sweet flavor. These babies are perfect for roasting, steaming, or even pickling. Now hold on to your hats, folks, because we're about to enter a whole new world of carrot color. Forget everything you thought you knew about orange, because purple, white, and yellow carrots are here to rock your world. First up, the purple carrot. This ain't your average veggie, folks. With its deep purple skin and often bright orange core, this carrot is a visual stunner. And the flavor? Don't even get me started. It's sweet, earthy, and has a hint of peppery spice that'll leave you wanting more. Next, we've got the white carrot, the chameleon of the carrot world. Don't let its pale complexion fool you. This carrot packs a punch of flavor. It's sweet, slightly tangy, and perfect for adding a touch of elegance to any dish. Plus, they're said to have a lower glycemic index than their orange counterparts. And last but not least, we've got the sunshine yellow carrot. These beauties are like little rays of sunshine on a plate. They're bursting with vitamins and have a deliciously sweet and mild flavor that's perfect for snacking or adding to salads. Now, let's talk about those adorable little snacks that have taken the world by storm baby carrots. Contrary to popular belief, these bite-sized beauties aren't actually baby carrots at all. They're actually full-grown carrots that have been peeled and cut into smaller pieces. But don't let their size fool you. These little guys are just as nutritious and delicious as their larger counterparts. They come in all sorts of colors, from classic orange to vibrant purple, and they're perfect for snacking, dipping, or adding to lunch boxes. And speaking of small carrots, let's not forget about their cousin, the Chantenay carrot. These short and stout carrots are known for their sweet flavor and tender texture. They're perfect for roasting, glazing, or even pickling. Hold on to your gardening gloves, folks, because we're about to dive into the fascinating world of heirloom and exotic carrots. These aren't your average supermarket varieties, oh no. These are the rare, the unusual, the downright bizarre carrots that will have you feeling like a true carrot connoisseur. Take the dragon carrot, for example. This heirloom variety boasts vibrant purple skin with a bright orange core resembling the scales of a mythical dragon. And the flavor, it's sweet, earthy, and slightly spicy, adding a touch of magic to any dish. Then there's the cosmic purple carrot with its deep purple flesh and sweet, almost peppery flavor. This stunning variety is not only delicious, but also packed with antioxidants. And who could forget the Parisian market carrot? These adorable round carrots are perfect for roasting whole and bursting with a sweet, delicate flavor.
All right, Carrot Crusaders, let's talk dirt. I know, I know, not the most glamorous of topics, but trust me, when it comes to growing those prize-winning carrots, soil pH is key. Now, for those of you who haven't a clue what pH is, don't you worry your pretty little heads. It's just a fancy way of saying how acidic or alkaline something is. And when it comes to carrots, they like their soil slightly acidic, somewhere between 6.0 and 6.8 on the pH scale. Think of it like this. Your carrots are like Goldilocks. They don't like it too acidic. They don't like it too alkaline. They like it just right, too acidic. And your carrots might end up looking a little stunted and sad, too alkaline. And they might have trouble absorbing all those important nutrients. So how do you know if your soil's pH is up to snuff? Well, you can grab yourself a soil testing kit from your local garden center. It's easy peasy to use and will tell you exactly what your soil's pH is. Now that we've got the pH down pat, let's talk about feeding those hungry carrots. Just like us, carrots need a balanced diet to thrive, and that's where fertilizer comes in. But hold your horses. Before you go dumping a whole bag of fertilizer on your carrot patch, remember, moderation is key. Too much fertilizer can actually do more harm than good, leading to leafy tops and small woody roots. So, what kind of fertilizer should you use? Well, carrots are root vegetables, which means they need a fertilizer that's high in phosphorus and potassium. Phosphorus helps with root development, while potassium helps with overall plant health and disease resistance. Look for a fertilizer with a ratio of May 10th to 10 or something similar. And always, always, always follow the instructions on the package. Over-fertilizing is a rookie mistake, and we don't want that, do we? All right, carrot comrades, we've talked pH. We've talked fertilizer. Now let's talk about the foundation of it all, the soil. And let me tell you, not all soil is created equal. Carrots, they're a little bit picky when it comes to their dirt. They crave loose, well-drained soil that allows their roots to grow long and strong. Heavy clay soil, forget about it. That's a one-way ticket to stunted, deformed carrots. So what's a carrot lover to do? Well, if you've got heavy clay soil, don't despair. You can amend it with some organic matter like compost or aged manure. This will help to break up the clay and improve drainage. Loamy soil, on the other hand, is like the holy grail of carrot growing. It's the perfect balance of sand, silt, and clay, providing both good drainage and moisture retention. If you're lucky enough to have loamy soil, give yourself a pat on the back. You've hit the carrot growing jackpot. All right, sun worshipers and shade seekers, let's talk about everyone's favorite celestial body, the sun. Now, carrots, they're not as high maintenance as some of their veggie brethren, but they do appreciate a good dose of sunshine. For best results, aim for six, eight hours of direct sunlight per day. That's right, these orange beauties need their daily dose of vitamin D just like us. Now, if you live in a particularly hot climate, don't fret. A little bit of afternoon shade can actually be beneficial, preventing those delicate carrot tops from getting scorched. Think of it like this. You wouldn't want to spend all day baking in the sun without a break, would you? Neither do your carrots. So find that sweet spot in your garden where your carrots can soak up the rays without turning into carrot crisps. Now, I know what you're thinking, Monty. What if I don't have six, eight hours of direct sunlight? Well, don't you worry your pretty little heads. There's hope for us shade gardeners yet. You can still grow perfectly respectable carrots with a little less sun, say four, six hours. Now that we've got the sunshine situation sorted, let's move on to another essential element for carrot success, water. Just like us, carrots need to stay hydrated to thrive. Aim to give your carrots about an inch of water per week. You can use a rain gauge or the good old finger test. Stick your finger about an inch into the soil. Consistency is key. Keep the soil moist, but not waterlogged. So we know how much water our carrots need, but when's the best time to give them a drink? Well, my friends, timing is everything when it comes to water in your garden. The ideal time to water your carrots is in the early morning, just as the sun is starting to peak over the horizon. Watering in the morning allows the soil to soak up the moisture before the heat of the day sets in, reducing evaporation and ensuring your carrots have a nice long drink. Now I know what you're thinking, Monty. I'm not about to set my alarm clock for the crack of dawn just to water my carrots. And you know what? I don't blame you. If morning watering ain't your jam, the next best time is in the early evening, once the sun has started to set. 
Avoid watering in the middle of the day, especially during the hottest months. Not only will most of the water evaporate before it even reaches the roots, but water droplets on the leaves can act like tiny magnifying glasses, scorching those delicate carrot tops. All right, carrot comrades, we've covered a lot of ground today from soil pH to water and wisdom, but let's face it, even the most seasoned gardeners run into problems. Carrots can be finicky and throw us curveballs. I'm here to help you crack the carrot code and troubleshoot common problems. So put on your detective hats, grab your magnifying glasses, and let's get to the bottom of those carrot conundrums. My carrots are forking. Now let's talk about a phenomenon that can strike fear into the hearts of even the most experienced carrot growers, forking. That's right folks, sometimes carrots decide to branch out, literally, resulting in roots that look more like miniature trees than edible veggies. It's enough to make you wanna reach for the gardening gloves and surrender. But before you throw in the trowel, let's talk about what causes forking and how to prevent it. One of the main culprits is compacted soil. Remember, carrots need loose, airy soil to stretch their roots and grow long and straight. When the soil is compacted, those poor roots have to fight their way through, resulting in those unsightly forks. Another factor that can contribute to forking is encountering obstacles in the soil, like rocks, roots from other plants, or even clumps of unmixed fertilizer. Think of it like this. If you were trying to run a marathon and kept running into brick walls, you'd probably end up taking a detour or two, right? All right, fellow gardeners, our gardens are like all-you-can-eat buffets for those pesky critters. Carrots with their sweet, crunchy roots are a particular favorite. But fear not, I'm here to arm you with the knowledge and tools to protect your carrots. The dreaded carrot root fly lays eggs near the base of carrot plants. Use row covers to keep these pesky flies at bay. Companion planting with herbs can also help deter those flies. All right, carrot connoisseurs, it's time to put your newfound knowledge to the test. Grab your thinking caps and get ready for a little carrot IQ test. Don't worry, there are no grades here, just a little fun to see how much you've learned on our carrot crusade. Question one, what soil pH do carrots prefer? Is it A, as acidic as a lemon, B, slightly acidic like a good cup of coffee, or C, as alkaline as baking soda? Question two, which of these is not a real carrot variety? A, cosmic purple, B, rainbow swirl, or C, dragon? Question three, when's the best time to water your carrots? A, midday when the sun is at its strongest, B, early morning or early evening, or C, only when it rains. And question four, what's one way to deter carrot root flies? A, invite a family of robins to nest in your garden. B, plant strongly scented herbs like rosemary and thyme. Or C, water your carrots with lemonade. So, how'd you do on the quiz? Whether you aced it or learned a thing or two along the way, I hope I've inspired you to try growing your own carrots. There's nothing quite like the satisfaction of harvesting those crunchy, colorful beauties from your own backyard. From the moment you sow those tiny seeds to the day you pull those vibrant roots from the earth, growing carrots is a journey of discovery and delight. You'll learn about the rhythm of the seasons, the importance of patience, and the sheer joy of nurturing something from seed to supper. And let's not forget about the flavor. Homegrown carrots bursting with freshness and flavor put those supermarket varieties to shame. Whether you enjoy them raw, roasted, juiced, or pickled, those homegrown carrots will have you saying, move over, store-bought, there's a new carrot in town. Well, folks, it's been a rootin' tootin' good time exploring the wonderful world of carrots with you. I hope you've enjoyed this deep dive into all things carrot and that you're feeling inspired to get out there and grow some crunchy delights of your own. But before you go, don't forget to spread the carrot love. Share this video with your fellow gardeners, your veggie loving friends, or anyone who could use a little more color and crunch in their lives. Let's create a world where everyone knows the joys of a perfectly grown carrot. And hey, while you're at it, why not give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more gardening adventures, tips, tricks, and maybe even a few more bad jokes along the way. Thanks for joining me on this carrot crusade, folks. Until next time, happy gardening, and may your carrots always be crunchy, colorful, and oh so delicious.